Sunday morning, the 28th of um, May, and it's 5.20am. I'm hanging out the window of the most incredible place up here in Gayo, in Valdobiadene. You might be able to hear the birds. But have a look down there. This is the view from the bedroom. I've actually opened the window and I'm sticking my head out the window. I've got the windows uh, sitting on my back down here, just below me. There's some uh, vines, little table setting. So I'll show you this place in full. It's one of the properties they have, the De Stefano family has. And uh, it's a restored uh, bed and breakfast place. It's absolutely dreamlike up here. Very quiet. And um, it's double bedroom. If uh, I would most definitely want to come back here, spend a couple of nights here. And um, um, it, uh, it's very, very cheap. I don't know if we'd have to pay, but that's not a problem. Um, but they've got a bigger property that um, you can uh, have a group of, say, six. I think Giorgio is trying to uh, get up. He's in the room next door or next to me. Okay, so um, this is the view from the bedroom. Uh, we'll wait for the sun to come up in a little while. It's been absolutely spectacular, and, uh, yeah, I hope we can come back again. This is just marvellous. No. Okay. It's uh, now gone just after 6 a.m. You might just be able to see. I hope you'd be able to see. Yeah, the, uh, the the sun's just starting to come up. You got Giorgio over there taking photos and running them up. This is absolute paradise. It's still a bit dark out in the distance but uh, yeah it's just wonderful the the sun's coming through the vines and we just get a, a quick little glimpse I'll, I'll, I'll take some more film in just a moment as the uh, the sunlight improves that's the town of Combay C-O-M-B-A-I below us And as I pan to the right, you'll see, oh, there's the vineyards, you've got to see the vineyards, eh? We had some wonderful Prosecco, the Cartizze, and uh, some very nice Halal roast pork, which was very, very good. And that's the accommodation there. Might just go for a quick, quick wander around. Some spectacular trees as per usual. Look how dense. Oh, that's somebody's neighbour. Uh, some neighbour. Um, great trees. Here's the... Uh, look at the house. Uh, it was uh, an absolute ramshackle, run-down place. And it's uh, been magnificently restored. We'll go inside in a moment and have a look around. It's got a bit of a... Like a, a loading ramp there of sorts. And as we move around, there's that super steep road. God. It, it'd be... Jesus. Um, that'd have to be uh, a significant percentage, maybe 18, 20% or more. And uh, we'll just finish off with bit of a view here. Looks like the sunlight is getting a bit stronger so there we are. We'll film in just a moment. Okay so there's the town below us and here's the house. I'm just going to 
do a quick film inside for you to have a look at. Let's go in. Little outdoor setting for you. It's now 6.20. It's uh, quite pleasant. I'm just wearing my uh, cycling singlet. It's like a little Actually, there's got to be lights in here. Let, let's go and switch the lights on. Um, what you can't see is that I'm walking on glass panels. Um, hang on, where's the light? Ah, there we go. I know that's made a difference. But, uh, there we go. See that just there? Where is it? Just there. That's all glass. And it's raw stone below. See that? Right there. You can see the, the edge right there. I put my foot, point to it. That's an edge. Where are we? The edge there. That's a, and then it's glass. So let the camera try and get its bearing, so to speak. A bit dark. I can't open these little windows. You go into a. Hang on. We got more lock. Uh, Oh, gee, nifty little floor lights just come on. Okay, we're going to the kitchen area. And hang on a tick, just give me a second here. I'm going to see if I can get these curtains back. Get a bit more light. And there's a couple of pots and things here. Not bad, not a bad view from the kitchen window, eh? Okay, what have we got here? We've got a little tap set up. Oh, there we are. We've got a bit of light now. And basic little kitchen set up. And, oh, there's a light. There we go. They're all very rustic. Raw stone. That's our table setting here. And we'll just quickly whiz around here. Fairly st um, steep sort of little staircase. And as you can see, it's all exposed beams, see there? And we go up the stairs. And there's Giorgio in his bedroom, yeah. And I've got my bedroom over here. Get a nice view from the bedroom. All quite rustic and nice. And he's going to put the bikes out. Now we're going to the bath area. There's, let's see if I can get this. There's this incredible step right there. If you can see that, it, when you walk, you think you're going to drop um, down into the, to the basement area. And that's the nice little bathroom setup. Nice hot shower. As I said, uh, you can uh, rent, you can hire this for a very reasonable cost. And we'll go outside again. We go around here. And George just taking a film, a photo. And we're back out again into this glorious morning sunshine. And we've got that. There's that old. Uh, he's forgotten the phone. Um, I'm assuming I'm recording. It's Sunday morning the 28th just gone 807 and uh, we're heading to Paso San Boldo and uh, as you can see it's absolutely glorious there's still a little bit of pink from the Giritalia here around and uh, I'm just going to do a quick UE to um, See where Giorgio is, as you can see. Oh, that's a nice big house here, nice villa. 
and so he has got his phone finally and um, the town we're in is Miane M-I-A-N-E it's one of the uh, bigger towns in this region a bit more pink ribbon action or pink action for Giro Geez, would have been a tough stage up and downhill all the time. Ringing. Ah, oh, there's a town name, Miane. We are now leaving Miane, and we'll switch off. Oh, Folina is the next town. You see it, Folina. One of the Borghi più belli di Italia. Okay. One of the Borghi Be Più Belli di Italia, one of the most beautiful little towns. And it looks like a what, a 13th century, I don't know, 14th century? Who knows? Uh huh. Castel Brando. That's Brand. Oh, Castel Brando. You can see that there. Right? And I get now slight miscalculation here. This is okay, okay, okay. Uh, slight uh, miscalculation here. This is Chison de Valmarino. Valmarino was the previous town. Now that's Brando Castle up there. Napoleon slept there, and even Mussolini slept up there. And there's a uh, little train electric. Uh, funicular, what do you call it, you know, cog rail thing, or whatever, that takes it, uh, Jesus, it takes you right up there. And, uh, okay. see, see. Uh, try and ma oh, make sure that I get a good shot of it. You can see it going up there. Castel Brando. Something to visit when we come here, I would say. Oh, very impressionante, very impressive. Allora.